Hi YouTube. Uh, so I've I've got an iPhone 4s and uh, I am currently unlocked via the Sam the Sam unlock that that had come out a few few weeks back. And uh, it's this one is actually an AT&T locked uh, iPhone 4s, 16 gigs, but I'm running my Vodafone Mumbai SIM card. So this video is basically about uh, this new service that ha that claims that they have the proper IMEI unlock for the iPhone 4S. Um, there are a lot of websites that are claiming that they that they do the unlock, but uh, usually the people just you know end up uh, getting getting scammed off their money. Uh, I don't want to name the service right now. Uh, just because I want to see if it works first and then I'm going to just disclose it uh, to everybody uh, let's see how it goes so this one this iPhone 4s is currently on uh, version 501 I'm not sure if you can see that but this one is I uh, apologize for the quality of the camera I'm using my cheap digital camera here so this one is an iPhone 4s running 5.0.1 on the firmware 1.0.13 so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna upgrade I'm gonna restore or basically upgrade this phone to 5.1.1 uh, I have already done a sync and a backup multiple times just to make sure that I have all the data I'm just gonna hold shift and I'm gonna just say restore which will let me uh, select the one, select the, the firmware that I would like to upgrade to. So I have this iPhone firmware folder. Oops, not this one. Upgrade to 511. So that's where I saved all of my stuff. And uh, I have my up, my restore IPSW. It's gonna go ahead and this guy says iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone to, to iOS 5.1.1 and will verify the restore with Apple. Uh, let's go ahead and restore. Uh, this is going to take a while. Um, so this was a little tricky for me because I was, before the Sam Unlock came out, I was using uh, a Jevy SIM card, uh, a Jevy imposter SIM card. Uh, on the same phone, at, on the same version 5.0.1 with the for, with the baseband as 1.0.13. Uh, this was working absolutely perfectly. I still have the Jevy SIM card with me. Now, when the Sam Unlock came out, I decided to jump ship and uh, you know just go ahead and unlock my phone for that particular Vodafone Mumbai SIM card that I'm using currently. Um, and the third thing is, if this unlock does not go through, and if the Jevy doesn't work, uh, I have no way of going back. Of course, I have saved my Sam uh, unlock tickets and everything, but uh, let's see how it goes now. So, this guy says, preparing the iPhone for restore. And I'm, I'm sure it's going to take a while. So it says installing device driver software on my system taskbar. Again, I apologize for the quality of the video. Uh, I'm using my Canon point and shoot camera, which was kind of made redundant with my iPhone 4S when I just bought it a few months ago. So I'm just gonna just hold it up right here. Um, also, I've just just remembered that uh, when the Sam Unlock came out, there was this uh, there was a small application in Cydia called Cookie. I have made sure that uh, 
I have you know updated my ticket onto the cookie onto the cookie servers just in case if I if, if something goes wrong I don't want to mess about with the lockdown folder that people usually talk about um, let's see I will probably have to just run through this bit where it takes so long to upgrade the firmware So this service, this IMEI unlock provider, he claims that it's a legit soft, uh, IMEI unlock. It's not a software unlock, it's not a hardware unlock. So there's no Ultra Snow, there's no SAM included, there's no Jevy needed anymore. It's a, it's a you know, permanent IMEI unlock. If this goes through, I think these guys deserve a lot of credit for what they've done and I'm sure I, I'm just sure everybody's just gonna run through run run to these guys and uh, make sure that they have uh, a lot of people signing up with them Is my camera sky blue one that's me right there hello sorry about that already seven minutes into the video I think I'm just about 60% in uh, to the uh, iPhone software update now the guy claims uh, the IMEI unlock provider claims that you just you either restore you just delete all the settings and do a restore but then since I was on 5.0.1 I could not restore back to 5.0.1 uh, so I'm, I'm just forced to go back, go up to 5.1.1, which I'm presuming nothing will go wrong. So this guy's almost done. I think it's gonna reboot once or twice, I don't know. So yeah, I think this is the first time I am upgrading the software on my iPhone. Uh, I bought it when I bought it with 5.0.1 pre-installed on it. Somebody had already jailbroken it. Uh, so your phone has been restored to factory settings and is restarting. Please leave your phone. Oops, I forgot miss that okay so yeah so I bought this phone with 5.0.1 pre-installed and a friend jailbroke it for me uh, and this is the first time I'm really messing about with the with the operating system of the iPhone and there ha there I hear the uh, famous beep of the iPhone and there we go now the good the point, the point of notice right now is the network. It says searching. The service provider claimed that the moment you just start your phone the first time, you are going to get service. And it's, it's no service so far. Let's just go ahead and set it up. I'm just going to say this one is a US English. Say next. I am in India. Okay, next. I'm going to say disable location services. And I'm going to say next. It says, do you want to disable location services?